Friday for Cancer has been around for eight years now and it's only gotten bigger and better with each installment. With everything represented from Street Fighter and Marvel vs. Capcom to League of Legends and Dota 2, Frag 8 was the place to be for competitive gaming. Of course, it's important to remember the cause behind Frag for Cancer. This year, the event managed to raise a cool 10 grand for the Canadian Cancer Society. Everybody getting to play some video games and raise money for cancer research? It sounds like a win-win to me. And of course, because it's so awesome, we sent a crew there to check it all out. So I'm the volunteer coordinator this year for FRAG. Um, so my job was to get everyone together to get the event really going. Uh, I think I'm probably most excited for Dota 2, but I'm a big StarCraft fan as well, so those are the ones I'm really looking forward to playing and watching. So there's a lot of work that goes into an event like FRAG. Uh, we were lucky to have a really strong team of people who are involved. Yazid's done a great job over the years with FRAG. Um, so it is a lot of work, but it's also a lot of fun, and we all really enjoy the event. Uh, my role, I was part of the organizing staff, so I helped out uh, gathering computers and organizing tournaments, getting together volunteers and joining in on the weekly meetings that we had leading up to the event. And for the actual event, I am the MC for the weekend. Uh, my game is StarCraft, um, so I will be watching some of that be played, but this year the theme is fighting games and we have Jubilee up from Orlando for the entire weekend and there's some big prizes for Marvel and Street Fighter. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to see who takes those and it's good to have a local champion that's going to win it and be able to go down and represent Atlantic Canada for uh, Community Effort Orlando. Uh, so much work. I, I organized an event myself in uh, Fredericton, New Brunswick and I know based on that it's a ton, ton of work. Um, Yazid and the rest of the staff, we get together pretty early to really get a jump start on things but it doesn't matter how early you get on top of things, there's still so much work to do leading up to the event and the day of the event. So I mean it's, it's long hours but it's definitely worth it. I'm just watching today. I have a friend who's playing in the uh, Marvel tournament, so I'm okay. coming to support him. If I had the money, I would probably be doing the Brawl tournament, just because I've been playing that for a long time. So yeah, but not not this time. But now that I know it's a vi an actual thing, like maybe next maybe next year. I play League of Legends, man. All right. Like everybody else, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I play AD carry. I play a lot of Corky and Ash, Caitlyn, stuff like that. Uh, pretty much the only game I play all the time, Dota 2. Uh, usually I play support, you know, um, I like very, you know, casual Lion, Lena kind of thing, or Sand King, just, you know, initiating and supporting and buying all the words out. It's a safe job for me, so I like to do it, why not? I think the greatest thing about Frag is that um, you know we can get all these people together uh, who, where, where gaming is usually uh, somewhat of an isolated activity. You know we can really bring people together and make a difference in our community that way. Uh, the best part about Frag for Cancer is getting everyone together. I mean, you play against these people online. You, they might be your friend, but they might live in a different city. But it's the chance to get everyone together for an entire weekend and, and play games for a really great cause. I love the fact that they have an N64 station. That is that is awesome for a, spec for a spectator. I mean, it looks very professional. The thing that I liked even before I came here was the website. Website is really professional looking, and um, yeah, it's amazing. Like the sponsors that they've gotten. Um, probably the fact that I can't run a mile, and I definitely can't give anything else to like cancer societies or anything. So we'll play video games. <laughs> That's what I'm good at. I like that it seems really well organized. There's a lot of cool prizes. There's a lot of people I recognize from other smaller events. 
it just seems really well put together. I guess the people here actually know what they're doing. It's just the energy. I've, I think uh, this is my fourth year with them now. I always, every year, come back and volunteer. I don't necessarily play the games, but I just, you know, like helping out. I think it's a really good cause. And the energy here and the people here who come here, they really want to help. They really want to, you know, they really doing it, I feel like, more than the cause. Than, and the gaming is just something extra, but they really want to support this cause, which I think is a pretty great cause. Favorite game of all time? Uh, I'm gonna have to say Micro Machines on the Genesis. <laughs> Love that game. <laughs> Favorite game ever is probably Frequency for the PlayStation 2. Uh, it was kind of the precursor to Guitar Hero, except it was played with a controller, and it wasn't really rock music, it was more like techno and house, and it was way too many hours playing Frequency. My favorite game ever? Uh, that's a hard one, man. Maybe... Age of Empires 2? Ever? Diablo 2. Very hard question, my favorite game ever. You know what, like, I'm, I guess it's the game that I've been playing for now, like four years constantly, and not replacing. And if I'm not replacing with anything, is Dota. Like, compared to all the other games, I'll play them once and throw them out, but Dota, I just keep coming back to it. I mean, the sky's the limit. We keep improving every year. I mean, I only joined on last year. I was helping run the League of Legends tournament, and this year I get to MC and be a little more behind the scenes. But I think it's just all about, you know, having more tournaments, more games, getting more people involved, and raising more money for, uh, for this cause. It really looks like MOBAs are, are taking over, it seems. So hopefully a lot more Dota, a lot more League of Legends. No, I'll take it from there. It's hard to say, really, because this is my first frag, and I'm not really. I, this is what's going to form the context of that. I'm not really sure what they could necessarily add. They seem to have a lot of things here. In fact, more than I thought that they would have, like the board game tables and the prizes and all that sort of thing. So, uh, I'm going to refrain from uh, answering that completely. But it just seems like they have pretty much everything covered that I could ask for. What? I, oh, I'm also a speedrunner. So I want to see like some speedrunning events. So I'm going to see if maybe I can talk to the frag organizers and get something set up for that. From back next year, um, probably a lot more stuff from the Watchers. Like I know we can play like a couple of games, but like last year we had a bunch of the vintage games, which was really cool. And this year we have board games, so let's kind of mix those. Next year, I, I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for a bigger venue. Like this, it's getting crowded and crowded. Like more people are coming in. It's starting to get harder to move in there which is amazing, it's telling me that this is really growing and it's gonna become huge in Atlanta and Canada. So hopefully a bigger venue. I mean, one of these days, maybe the Metro Center, like all of it, like why not? I can see that happening, so hopefully, hopefully, yeah. Of course, as I mentioned before, Frag for Cancer 8 managed to raise an amazing $10,000 for the Canadian Cancer Society. So, good job guys, you better top that amount next year. If you didn't get enough tournament action in with Frag for Cancer 8, here are your local weeklies and monthlies. Hey now, don't be forgetting about your local gaming weekly and monthly meetups. Online gaming is fun and all, but there's something great about winning a match face to face. Coming up after the break, guys, as promised, Mr. Jabaley joins us here in studio for a chat after coming all the way back home to help host Frag for Cancer 8. Stick around, you're not going to want to miss it.